just tell the truth that who shouldn't be here and keep it real. Leave a comment. Let's go. Now you sitting there like it's been a part of the city for 30 damn years. I say football team, y'all. Your country ass ought to be glad you got a football team. I ain't no need to boo with me. Y'all need some laughs, cause I tell you right now, all the news about your football team ain't been good news. Ray Carruth? What the hell was on Ray Ray mind? Hey, look, first of all, first of all, just let me say this. I ain't here to talk about guilt or innocence, cause that ain't my job. I don't know what he did or whether he did or whatever. All I want to know is, who helped plan the goddamn escape? <laughs> was this not the ignorant shit you ever seen? What was his little punk ass thinking? God damn it, normally when you running from the law, you want to get a passport, go to Canada, Brazil, Mexico. No, no, not Ray Ray. Ray Ray took his ass to Nashville. Go on, sit down now. Go on, have a seat. Turn that music off. I love my goddamn job. Shit. Some people don't like their fucking jobs, boy. What? Some of y'all got to get up and go to work in the morning. God damn. I'm how many sick days I got left? This is some bullshit here, man. We stay out real late knowing we gotta get up early and wanna go to work home and try to estimate how much sleep we gonna get, don't we? Damn, it's two o'clock. Three o'clock, four o'clock. Shit, I better go to sleep, God. We don't just call out sick, we go to the bathroom and practice, don't we? <coughs> Hello? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Bad thing about working is, Everybody got a job, and everybody got somebody working at their job that this close to you whooping their ass, ain't they? <laughs> they don't know it yet, but they this close to getting their ass whooping, ain't they? You be, if this motherfucker say something to me today, I swear to God, I'ma fuck him up. I ain't bullshit. And if you ain't clapping, it's probably your ass that's close to the ass whooping. We <laughs> in the house, they got their seats all up front. How y'all doing? Nice and early. Y'all charge y'all shit, didn't you? White people can charge tickets. We got to wait. We got to wait on our check. Get our eyes. We ain't, we ain't putting tickets on no credit card now. That's for big shit. The credit card for big shit. You know, they all up front, too, and got in their seats early, too. They came in early. They know us. They know we'll sit in their damn seats. That's why they came. <laughs> White people get the usher though, they'll tell when somebody in their damn seats. That's because they live by a different creed than we do in life. White people hope things don't go wrong. They will get the usher because they hope things don't happen. They have high hopes. And if they were running a little late tonight, they probably were thinking, oh my God, we're running a little late. Oh my goodness, I hope no one's in our chairs. <laughs> Man, I hope one's, no one's in our seats. I don't want any problems. Bros, we'll never get to Usher. We don't need to Usher. Because we don't live by the Hope Creed. Black people got a totally different creed we live by. It's more confrontational. It's the wish factor. Black people don't hope. We wish. We wish a motherfucker would be in our shit. No, bro, come in late like, nigga, I wish a motherfucker would be in my damn chair. Much money I had to pay for these seats, nigga, I wish a motherfucker would be in my chair. No, that's us right there, partner, four and five. Four and five, come on now. <laughs> we confrontational like that, man. That why, that's why it ain't time for a lot of stuff we ask for, talking about we want a black president. Come on now. A black president? Come on, y'all, now, you know, I mean, you know, we got Clinton that's close. <laughs> he got Negro tendencies, but, uh, he on his way out. We can't handle no black president. I mean, because, you know, what's the, 
the deficit like six trillion dollars or something, you know. You know, black people, we don't deal with debt like that. That'd be too much pressure for a black president. Six trillion dollars, man, he'd be sitting at the White House, man, talking about, hey, hey, dog. Hey, man, hey, hey tell him I ain't got it, man. Shit, tell him, tell him. Shit man, tell, tell him I can put something on it. I can put a little bit on it. Ask him if they'll take a post-dated check or something, see if they'll do that. Black president, man, we can't handle all that same stuff. We can't, we couldn't deal with that Monica Lewinsky. Black people, we can't be under the eye of being a president. We don't have nobody all in our business like that. We couldn't have been the president with that Monica Lewinsky nonsense going on. Black president don't, don't do all that getting fronted on. You just jump up and yell our business all out. We don't play like that. Black president been in a press conference, you know, doing his thing. A reporter would have jumped up. Yeah, tell us about Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> what? <laughs> how, how, hold on, dog. <laughs> nigga, what you gonna ask me in front of my wife and everything, nigga? nigga? Hold my jacket, dog. This That's when everybody start leaving. The president fight too much. Are you? Here I am. Yeah. Told y'all I'm coming. Let's tell you. Did not motherfucker tell you. Sick of this shit. What type of shit it is? White folks in the house. God damn. I see white folks, man, in the house. I want to say, first off, welcome. God damn it, welcome. Boy, when white folks come see you, boy, you successful, you somebody. <laughs> North Carolina, shit. Man, you know I'm so tired, I've been shaking hands all motherfucking night. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna tell you why, I'm, I'm tired. Black folks shaking hands, white folks different. Black folks, you gotta be in fucking shape. <laughs> Show me some love, motherfucker. Show me some love. You be tired than a motherfucker. Ain't the world bad? New Year's Eve, 2000. White man Ted in the world coming. You some bitch when I'm about water, sardine, potty meat, soup. Man, 11:30, you were scared like a motherfucker. You? you thought you were gonna die for sure, 12 o'clock then. Quit believing in everything you got damn here. Shit. Believe in yourself. I don't believe shit until shit happens. <laughs> you know, no, no, I can't believe the fucking kids. Everybody talking about kids. Everybody talking about how bad kids is. You know it's bad. But see, you can't say kids bad. I say it for you. These motherfuckers bad. <laughs> I will fuck a kid up. <laughs> don't get mad at me. I'm just saying what you can't say. You feel the same goddamn way I feel. Some bitch kids, you got them smart for me. Sassy, talk his head, shaking and shit. Talk to the hand, talk to the hand. So I'm from the old school, I'll kick a kid ass. When a kid get one year old, I believe you got the right to hit him in the throat or the stomach. If, if you're grown enough to talk back, you're grown enough to get fucked up. Don't tell me all this shit. See, it ain't the kid, it's us. See, we some punk ass parents, see. See, we the puss ass parents today. See, we, I need to go back to the old school because there ain't no grandmamas no more. Ain't that a bitch? See, ain't no grandmama. Remember Big Mama? See, Big Mama gone. See, you a grandmama now, what, you 24? <laughs> Great grandmama, 36. <laughs> Talking about I ain't babysitting shit. She got her hair done, nail done, fucked up ass hairdos. I'm so sick of motherfucking old, these, these motherfucking hairdos with the glue on it and don't move and shit. I'm so tired of that shit. You know that line? Man, when, and, and you know what? Black women is different than white women. See, white women go swimming. Black women ain't getting no fucking water. This shit gotta last. 
You know black women, that shit don't last one motherfucking week. I had to, when, they, when black women get their hair and nails done, you ain't getting no pussy on your ass none. They don't even want no sleep. They have sleep just like this here. Yeah. <laughs>